Hello, happy new week. It's Saturday, apparently. I mean, still hard to tell these days, but it's quite a pleasant Saturday. It's a bit it's the last really cold day. Tomorrow it starts warming up and then by next weekend, it's supposed to be like 15 degrees or something insane. But anyway, we've done a bit of shopping. I've got a bit more to do. We're having a roast today because we haven't done one in ages. And it seemed like a really good opportunity. Amelia's asleep, having vomited blueberries all over herself on the way back from Asda. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty, pretty normal Saturday. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. We've come for a walk in Runnymede. It's a little monument in the park there to the barons. And then we just went into the Riton Water, which is got some of the lines of Magna Carta written upside down and in reverse um, and then it's got a reflecting pool but the problem is the reflecting pool is frozen and so you can't actually read it at the moment um, it's in that whoop, big structure over there um, but yes anyway this is the flats of Ronnie Mead that's the River Thames along there Magna Carta Island which is where they I think Magna Carta was actually signed and then there's some chairs here as if this is where the barons would have sat, which obviously it wasn't, but it's a nice idea anyway. Smallest baron. Hello, Baron Amelia Dolia. Have you come to sign a new Magna Carta? No, I'm not really into that if I'm honest. Come on, Baron Amelia, we need to go now. I mean, you have to, move, you have to run somewhere, not on the spot. Yeah, you've got to move forwards. Come on. Come on, you're very small. It's going to take a while at that pace. Hello, happy Monday. I was taking Amelia for a walk, but now she's taking me for a walk. She insists on hanging around here by the Richmond Old Burial Ground and the, and the chapel. And she's using her melty sticks as a phone. Are you on the phone? <laughs> Very strange. Can we actually keep going? Please? No? No, I didn't think so. Bye bye. Hello. Happy Monday. No, wait, Tuesday afternoon. This is. We, the reason we don't know what day of the week it is in our house is not entirely COVID. Can't blame COVID for everything. It's because Amelia um, goes to works. Yes, yeah, she does. She goes to nursery Tuesday to Thursday. And so Tuesday seems like a Monday, Thursday seems like a Friday. And Wednesday seems like all the other weekdays. And then the weekend makes no sense. And repeat. So anyway, happy Tuesday. This morning I have been to buy some things because it is Shrove Tuesday. Which should have been the giveaway really. AKA Pancake Day. And I've decided that... Um, I'm not going to have regular pancakes because they're great and everything, but they lend themselves very well to being sweet, which is fine if that's what you're into, but I'm not. So I prefer savoury. So I've decided to make some galettes instead, which is a sort of Normandy version of the pancake made with buckwheat flour. And uh, it's really nice. Uh, so I'm looking forward to those this afternoon, this evening, once Amelia gets back. In the meantime, there's a gap in the clouds, so I'm going for a walk. I just had one of those moments, which uh, is very satisfying indeed. So, um, as I was walking along the road, there was a black car up ahead, properly, you know, pimped out thing. Nice, nice wheels, good, nice exhaust. Looks smart. I didn't actually see what make it was until I got a lot closer. Um, 
actually it was it was a Toyota but it, that's by the by it's clearly a young guy his car it's been a lot of time and effort on it fair play and although he had all the windows closed and everything you could hear that he was having a blast in there so he had his music up super loud I mean I'm guilty of that let's be honest um, and you thought yeah you kind of thought you knew what to expect so as I got closer to the car I thought hang on a minute I know this tune I'm thinking it's like you know some house banger just going on full volume so I get quite close and I look in the window and he is about 30 something year old guy so youngish compared to me anyway and uh and then it suddenly dawns on me, although I can only hear the bass, I know what tune this is. This is MC Sarr and the Real McCoy, Another Night. <laughs> 1992 classic. Now, don't get me wrong, in 1992, when I was 12, and that record came out, I absolutely loved it. And uh, I think I even tried to buy their album. And yes, they did have an album. Anyway, it's a big record for a 12 year old in 1992. It is a very strange look <laughs> and slightly hilarious for a man in the early 30s <laughs> to have at unimaginable volumes <laughs> in 2021. Like, I, my best guess is that he wasn't, he was barely born when that record came out. And, um, it was just kind of amusing. The only other time that that saw something similar like that has happened to me, and it, and I, you know, this put a smile on my face. But previously, actually, I, I pissed myself laughing. Honestly, I was in hysterics. There was um, back home in Whitmansworth, uh, it's a kebab shop on um, the uh, not the main high street, not that it really matters to you, but um, around the corner, and uh, there's parking along one side of the road, so people can stop in there anyway standing outside the kebab shop and you just hear this ford fiesta pull up bright red absolutely bass heavy absolutely practically propelling the thing down the road huge bloke pulls up obviously to get a kebab opens his door and it is boy zone <laughs> absolutely full volume love it love it when you don't get what you expect hi there happy thursday afternoon the rains have passed and we're now into sunny territory mostly for a few days with a occasional occasional shower but mostly this beautiful sort of pre-spring i wanted to talk to you about my first world problem um and it's not just mine it's everybody's first world problem but it is for some people it's more than that because it's their livelihood but in my particular case it's not um I haven't been out of the country for coming up to 18 months for any reason, not for work, not for holidays, because, well, because there's rather a famous pandemic going on. But I mean, there has been opportunities to leave the country last year. I think, I don't know, in hindsight, maybe I should have taken them, but then, I, who knows? Anyway, we decided that it was best not to because we were being a bit more cautious, I suppose, than the average people, and I don't regret that. But um, 18 months is a long time not to leave this country, especially right now where this country is at its nadir. It's, um, I've never wanted to be in this country less than I do now. And I've never been so compelled to stay. <laughs> um, it's a first world problem because look where I live. I mean, it's lovely. Like, you know, from a local perspective and from a nature perspective, it's it's a very pretty place to be. And I'm fortunate. Um, but it is a massive cultural change. Um, because I have been out of the country at least once a year, every year since 1984, and that's quite a long time. And and I know that's not normal, probably, um, but very much like the rest of the world and Europe in particular. Um, 
and I think that it is good to expose yourself regularly to other cultures and other ways of doing things and other cuisines and you know other weathers and all sorts of things that just make you more appreciative of both where you are but also less sort of insular and I'm annoyed about the length of time I'm living with it um, but it's frustrating and at the first opportunity I think I'll be taking everyone and leaving <laughs> and if that is Ireland in the summer or if we have to wait until the autumn then so be it but I feel like I've got so much pent up travel in me that it needs to needs an outlet and 2019 didn't help because it was the year I traveled the most in my life so that was not a good way to go into a pandemic but anyway I'm glad I did it um, and didn't put it off another year so there we go there's my first world problem I don't want your sympathy I don't need it it's just an observation and is currently one of the things that is sitting on my mind at the moment